On November 27th of 2022, the first eruption of the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii since 1984 began. It is now day 3 of its ongoing eruption, and during the last 24 hours, a flow of lava has moved several miles towards Hawaii Route 200. The flow of lava branched off from fissure number 3, passing and covering a section of the road leading to the Mauna Loa Observatory, then traveling onwards another 4 miles. As of the writing of this video, the lava flow is a mere 6 miles or 10 kilometers away from Route 200. If this lava flow continues to advance, it may only be 2-3 to three days before the road is cut off by advancing material. If this were to occur, a major detour would be created on the Big Island as traffic will be rerouted around the northern flank of the Mauna Kea volcano. If the aforementioned lava flow does reach the road and continues to advance, it would most likely head towards the northwest, loosely following the path created by other recent lava flows. Of the three fissures which were active on day one of the eruption, only the third is still active today, and it is producing the overall largest lava fountains. However, at 7.30pm local time on November 28th, the eruption propagated a bit further, creating a new fourth fissure. Both fissures 3 and 4 are now actively erupting material, and despite the somewhat close proximity to several regional roads, no major housing developments are currently at risk. In this area, lava is getting rather close to a threshold which decides whether material suddenly turns to the east or turns to the west. As the flink eruption continues to propagate, there is a chance that it might produce a lengthy lava flow which heads north then east towards the city of Hilo. This has not yet occurred, but we are keeping our eyes out for this possibility. Not only is fresh lava no longer being emitted from Mauna Loa's summit area, but people who live on or adjacent to the southwest or south of the volcano can rest a bit easier for now. The reason is that since the eruption is continually propagating along the northeast rift zone, it is unlikely to unexpectedly erupt on the southwestern rift zone. Of course, while this could still theoretically occur, the odds of such a scenario are becoming increasingly unlikely. Regardless, it is a special time in Hawaii as for the first time since 1984, two volcanoes on the Big Island are actively erupting, meaning you could get a photo with both volcanoes in a shot, along with a pair of orange glows in the same image. Speaking of 1984, the ongoing eruption is somewhat similar to that eruption, but also has a number of differences. Despite both being northeast rift zone eruptions, this eruption has so far not created fissures that propagate as far east as seen in the 1984 eruption. And, the ongoing eruption's fissures are not propagating at the same speed as the aforementioned earlier eruption. While it is now hour 56 of the eruption, the lowest erupting fissure is at an elevation of approximately 11,000 feet. In comparison, during the 1984 eruption, it took a mere 15 hours for eruptive activity to migrate from the summit of Mauna Loa down to 9,350 feet. Also, although this is largely speculation, the eruptive rate of the ongoing eruption appears to be slightly lower than witnessed in 1984. I want to give the Two Pineapples YouTube channel a special thanks for allowing me to use his footage in this video. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new turquoise tier YouTube member, John Galunas, for supporting this channel.